Hello, my soccer universe. You get me in a good mood. You get me in a more good mood. Milan just beat Juve in Turin 3 0. So I'm in a good mood. Although I have to say, everything that in the leaks that we're talking about in this video did not necessarily go exactly my way, but still interesting results up there. Um, but I think in both leagues, I'm more, meh, could have gone a little bit better. Uh, what do we have for headlines? Well, um, I think the biggest headline in Germany is surely that Dortmund is now in position and has in has it under their in their own hands to be uh, to be in the Champions League. That I think is the biggest news, and at the same time making Bayern uh, the new champions. That Dortmund is delivering a championship to Bayern before they even played. I mean, they just needed to get a win and they get it, did it in an emphatic fashion. Hence, I'm wearing Bayern because, you know, they're new champions. So, yeah, and I don't have to watch them up there on this wall for until I change it again. Um, just gotta, gotta, gotta be. So uh, that is unheard of. The other thing is that, of course, Lewandowski now is only one away from matching Gerd Müller's 40 goal record for one season, which is an amazing record. And you might say, okay, maybe the league was a little bit more even back then, blah, 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 blah. Maybe even more goals scored. Although I think the Bundesliga in the 70s was really big uh, on goals. If you score 40 goals in a season and you break a record of Gerd Müller, um, to me, this is the same as breaking one of Wayne Gretzky's records in the NHL. This is unbefreaking livable. Um, we also had a little bit, uh, yeah, pre deciding moment in the, re the relegation. I mean, Hertha had a really crazy week with three games uh, since Monday and actually not doing too badly, but their crazy weeks continue. Uh, but Kern got dealt a real blow in the relegation battle as well, losing at home and now definitely being more on the, on the way down. I would say, yeah, and Austria, the referee stealing a win for Lusk twice. Um, and Salzburg still not champions because <laughs> a beat would hold a tiebreaker, a weird one. This, um, if they would be level on points, but we'll talk about that. And so let's jump in, in, into the games. I said Hertha has a crazy week. They started on Monday with a 1 1 draw at Mainz, which is really, really incredible given how well Mainz has been doing. Uh, they followed this up with a rather impressive performance against Freiburg, where they were completely convincing, especially first with Piontek and Pekarik getting the first two, uh, two, two goals. Um, and then only laid on, uh, they make it in 3-0 through Radonjic. So Hertha at that point moving squarely out of the rele relegation zone, picking up four points. Um, even with a game uh, a game ahead, they looked rather safe fish, although it's still points-wise uh, relatively tight. Uh, but the momentum was on, on their side. And maybe, you know, I know Corona is not fun, but and uh, playing so many games in so short of time is also not fun. But seemingly, maybe it did something for her that rallied them uh, and, and so on. And of course, the loser in this case was, of course, Köln. And so we get into the current weekend. Stuttgart um, uh, with a lucky win over Augsburg all overall, but the first big one was Dortmund against Leipzig. Um, a preview of the cup final will come to that one that will happen next week. Uh, and actually a Dortmund team that was really well overall adjusted to the game with Marco Reus getting uh, the first goal already very early on. Uh, Haaland, of course, out of with a rather weird injury, which uh, it translates from German as horse's kiss. So, yeah, uh, go figure. And then uh, they, I think the, the lead was very well, well deserved in the first half. In the second half, uh, Leipzig comes out storming, but right on the first car contact, Sancho, Really nicely. It was not good defending by Le Le Leipzig, has to say. I mean, especially when you see how Upe Upe Meccano is signaling, go with the runner, go go with the runner, and they're both there, and then Sancho suddenly is free and can pull it in the net. However, fortunately for Le Leipzig, their pressure plays off with Klosterman getting a goal back, and then uh, Olmo in the 77 getting the equalizer, and everyone thought. The way Dortmund got a little bit too passive, let Leipzig play a little bit better. Everyone thought at a point, oh, 
Dortmund is going to throw away a 2 0 lead and their chance to uh, go in, into the top four at least momentarily. And then Sancho finds a winner a little bit out, I don't know, but a huge win for Dortmund. Also, beating Leipzig already twice and now having to play the cup final again. That's not a mean feat. Schalke threw away a 2 0 lead at the half, half, half time to lose 4 2 at Hoffenheim. And I think this was within uh, 15 minutes or 20, 20 minutes of Hoffenheim scored those four goals in the first half, in the, in the first half of the second half. Go figure. Bremen, Leverkusen, a dreary 0 0. One good chance for Leverkusen, but it was not good overall. But you know, a, cre a credible result for Bremen. Wolfsburg. Um, Totally deserved uh, uh, 3-0 over Union Berlin with Breckalo getting his first hat-trick. This guy has never scored more than one goal in, in a game and now he scores uh, three. And he was the only change from the previous game that Coach Glasner made. So really, really interesting that one and Wolfsburg um, easing uh, their stress as, uh, for getting into the Champions League. And then Bayern, yeah. I think Gladbach was in the game for about 15 minutes, although they found them already set themselves down after two, two minutes. Uh, thanks to Lewandowski's goal, Alaba with, with the assist. Thomas Müller, Lewandowski, Coman, 4 0 at the half. Lewandowski adds a penalty goal in the 66 to so put his tally at 39 goals. Then, even when uh, Nianzu is uh, sent off, with with a straight red, Lira Sané can make it a sixth. I mean, utter destruction against a team that Leipzig, con uh, Le Leipzig, Bayern continuously have problems. Um, and then they mentioned something in in in, in, in during the TV broadcast. With nine titles in a row, there are school kids out there, and I'm I'm thinking about Mike. Mike, it's not that they care too too much, but my older one. When she, she was born, Dortmund were champions, but ever since she was born, Bayern has gotten uh, the championship. The little one has not known anyone else but uh, Bayern as a, cha a champion. Again, she, they don't re really care, but this is just staggering, to, uh, to be honest. The last time Bayern was not um, champions, I wasn't even a father yet, so... That, <laughs> that you have to put in perspective. And then also, the Thomas Müller and David Alaba have now 10 titles. That's, that's a big, a big statistic. And Alaba is now leaving. Thomas Müller pro could potentially add on. We have to see. As for today's games, uh, Köln very quickly down two, two goals to Freiburg. They find a way back through an Andersen goal in the 50th. Then uh, they had a goal just, I think, in early stoppage time. I mean, first of all, they missed a penalty pen through Duda. So this was the first one. Then they had, had, had a goal, but Hector in the build-up. Got the ball somewhere here -ish. I couldn't really see it, but it was given as a handball. I thought this was a really tough call. And instead of getting the, e the equal as a Grifo and Schmidt in uh, stoppage time, add two more and make it a really resounding result. Uh, in it, that was way, way too high. Frankfurt Mainz. Mainz getting the lead through Onisivo and then holding off a Muslim. Frankfurt really didn't look good, but in the last few, few minutes, they. I think Kostic had a double chance in the first half. I saw most, I saw most of the game, but it really looked like Frankfurt is gonna lose that one. Um, however, they get the goal for Rusic in the most spectacular fashion uh, that you can get. It was a really nice run, I think, from Kostic in a back pass that Rusic uh, takes. It is blocked. The ball comes to Silva, who far uh, from he comes against Rusic, who is lying on the floor. And with the lower foot just stretching it and lobbing it, and it hits a little bit ahead and going into an incredible goal. And then uh, Frankfurt had actually the chance to find a winner as well, which would have put them again in, in the top four. But no, they cannot find it. And now they are a little bit in trouble. However, Mainz is a very important team, as, uh, as, as we will see. They will play in the next round. They have to play Dortmund. Uh, at home, and then they also have to play Wal Wolfsburg. So Mainz could very well decide who will go in. And then Hertha, again not losing, nil nil against Bielefeld. Uh, Bielefeld probably a, a, a good point for them. So in the current standings, the only change is that Dortmund goes ahead of uh, Frank Frankfurt and is now also odds on to make it in the Champions League. Wolfsburg looking relatively comfy, but. Um, 
not too, too old, to, to be honest. They also don't have an easy program with having to play Leipzig in a negative round, although after the cup final, which could actually throw a wrench into the whole thing because Dortmund lied, Leipzig played the cup final on, th on Thursday and then they have to play the Bundesliga round on Saturday. That could be interesting. So we have to see. Um, and on the bottom, Augsburg now really looking in danger, having a huge game against uh, Bremen. Um, Köln doesn't look pretty, doesn't look really pretty, especially Bielefeld picking up that one point. Uh, but they have a game that they should, should win and they have another huge, huge one. I think we will look at the uh, uh, NS games in a little bit. Um, if we look at the expected standings, I mean, it tells as much that Bielefeld, especially when we go, go uh, let, let, let's first look down. I mean, the movement is all no, not in my favor. I really would like to have Frankfurt in the Champions League. I would really would like to have Köln safe. The moment, uh, no, 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 nothing of this is happening. Bremen just about barely ahead of Bielefeld and Köln. It's still very, very tight, and Augsburg could be dragged into this. Although they have 35 points, I'd rather have those points to be honest, but it's by no means safe. Um, and on the top, it's also rather tight. Wolfsburg just a point ahead, expected ahead of Dortmund and Frankfurt, so uh, still lots to play for. I already alluded to it, we have a few games, but first, we have another makeup game for Hertha. Their crazy week continues uh, on the 12th uh, against Schalke. Uh, away from home should be a win and that probably will see Hertha through. And then on the weekend, at the moment it's all Saturday at 3.30. I'm not sure if they will not move things around, but this is what I know uh, at the moment. Uh, we have a huge game between Augsburg and Werder. That's for a uh, for, for relegation, absolute big one. Similar to Hertha Köln, it's a must win for Köln. If Köln doesn't win that, that, that one, it will be difficult for them. Bielefeld against Hoffenheim probably could snatch up a few points because there's not much to play for for Hoffenheim. For the top spots, we have Mainz, Dortmund, we have Leipzig, Wolfsburg, and it was so funny because uh, after the game, I think, it uh, what was the player says if Leipzig wins, wins the cup, he, they, he really would like it because they will have celebrated. He would even buy them a few beers, although, given that they're from Red Bull, they don't have many problems with drinks. So, yeah, um, it's not an easy game for Wolfsburg, and Frankfurt has a very winnable game against Schalke. So, uh, everything could change, and that Mainz will get something against uh, Dortmund is not inconceivable. We have also, as I said, the cup final on Thursday uh, and probably that's one that I will want to watch because that that's, seems to be an intriguing final on all accounts. In Austria, we had a big decider in relegation. Admira winning against St. Burton, putting St. Burton in serious trouble, as, as, as we'll see, although many say that Admira is probably the weakest team in there. Last game today, oh, they actually played well. Yes, they scored a very stupid own goal to go down a goal. Uh, then the, um, they get the equalizer with Eggestein finally getting it again and then after they have Goiginger, uh, uh, both goals actually uh, assist by Grigic with a wonderful individual effort though, um, turning the game around. And then it seems like the game is going well, maybe you could make a, thir a third one and with one counter-attack, uh, Trauna, the captain, clears it and the referee gives a penalty out of nothing. Absolutely, absolutely scandalous. Fredriksen from Juve actually uh, converts to two. But just 10 minutes later, Trauna, after a throw in from Holland, puts in the ball in the internet. It goes, it's really nicely uh, done. Three minutes later, again the referee. Again, Fredriksen against Trauna. There is nothing there. Fredriksen falls down, another penalty. And Trauna being sent, sent off with, with, the, with the yellow red. Uh, he must, he felt completely empty and couldn't, couldn't, couldn't believe it. How I couldn't believe it. And I usually am not, not going at, at the referees, but the referees stole that game. One penalty, okay, but two, no. Yes, missing chances. There were enough chances to win that, uh, that game, and this is a problem. Uh, there were also the own goal. So, yeah, you can put it in the last show as the coach said, but the coach went straight to the referee and told him his, what he thought about all that. And yeah, points dropped for Lusk. And we will see that is actually picked. Even though Sturm loses uh, to Salzburg, uh, which was good, Wolfsburg wins at Rapid. Where is this coming from? Turning the game around very much uh, due to. Uh, 
a red card that Rapid was given later on, and then the Engels Sobestheim gives the win for Wolfsburg. They lost 8 1 just a few weeks ago. So, yeah, um, that did not help either. And this is exactly why I don't like Rapid because uh, when once you need to have them win, they don't. It's so easy to hate them. So in the table at the moment, yeah, it looks nice. Lask is more moving up over the RC with the chances. I mean, the upcoming games are against Wolfsburg, against Salzburg, against Rapid. I don't see them making many, many points there. Maybe three points in Wolfsburg because we've been uh, rare racking up points consistently there. However, if I look now at the expected standings, Lask is suddenly in fifth. And that's the position I don't want to have. I'd rather have sixth than fifth, to, to be honest, because fifth means you have to play the winner of seventh against eight which is the for, for the final Europa League qualification spot. It is a shambles there. Uh, as I said, uh, we have a mid, mid ground, Wolfsburg against Lask. Um, not an easy one. Salzburg needs to pick up a point to win against Rapid Wien because, of, because we're having points at the moment. If Rapid and Salzburg would end le level points, Rapid will be put ahead because uh, they uh, their point total was really rounded down. Crazy rules. And then on the weekend last Salzburg, yeah, what to expect Sturm uh, against Rapid. I really would like Rapid to win and I don't know about the other game, but I feel the way the momentum is going for Lask, it's not very positive and I'm not very excited about, about it um, because the season's just long, they're all tired, whatever. I just want the season to, to be over. But if we can finish in third, that would be great. I just don't see it. In any case, please let me know what you thought about the games in the Bundesliga this weekend. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.